Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm going to be trying out one of the products I got in my December 2021 Boxy Lux box and this is from the brand Visart and it's the Seamless Setting Powder that I have in just the translucent shade. I'm not sure if this actually even has a shade but it says it's translucent powder. So if you have not seen that unboxing video yet, that is already up on my YouTube channel for you to check out. But I'm excited to try out another Vise Art product. I've tried out some awesome eyeshadow palettes from this brand. And in general, I just love trying out setting powders. Something about them I think is so fun. I also feel like it's an essential product for whenever I wear concealer pretty much. Lately, I haven't really been setting my entire face with setting powder just because my skin has been drier with the cold weather, but I'm going to try this out in a few different areas. It has a retail value of $35, which I think is expensive for a setting powder. It says it's flashback proof, which I'm definitely going to test out because I have had bad experiences with setting powder that looked so smooth and beautiful on the skin but then in pictures, white cast, flashback, and I just feel like I ruined all of the photos. So learn that lesson the hard way. It also says it's a long wearing formula that absorbs oil, blurs fine lines, and increases the longevity of your makeup. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer because I always use a setting powder with my concealer because I have a lot of lines under my eyes and I'm just going in with the e.l.f camo concealer and I'm just gonna go ahead and hide these under eye circles and then bring it down the center of my face as well and this way I can try baking one of my under eyes to see how that works but just blending this concealer out I also use a translucent powder to set the concealer that I bring down the center of my face as well to help that stay in place all day. And you might recognize this sponge here because I'm using the Elena Boudreaux makeup sponge that I got in my BoxyCharm Premium box. And I have been really loving this sponge and I'm also going to be trying it out with the powder today. Okay, so concealer is applied. <laughs> I feel like my eyes look so funny right now with no mascara, no brows. It's like, <laughs> But that's the process of makeup. I feel like it has to look really bad <laughs> before it looks really good, right? And it's going to start looking even more <laughs> funny and weird because I'm going to apply some of the powder to bake one of my under eyes as well. So here is what it looks like. I would say nothing too special about this packaging. Oh wow, and it also has a deep filter on it. Let's see if the filter even comes off because I prefer, no, I prefer to have the filter completely come off. And that's annoying, see the cap? It has this raised part in the middle, so you can't even tap any into the lid. So how am I even supposed to use this? I mean, I just did that and it's very messy. Not a big fan of this packaging. I just feel like it doesn't make sense <laughs> for a powder. But okay. Got some creasing happening already on one of my under eyes here. So I'm just gonna blend out those creases and I'm gonna pick up a lot of the powder, or at least try to, to bake this under eye. But, oh my gosh, this powder, it's like snowing in here. This powder is not sticking on. Oh my gosh, I am covered in this powder right now, okay? It is very loose, very dusty. I don't even think I can bake with this because it doesn't layer up. It just falls off of the face. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna apply this. I mean, 
I honestly don't bake my face ever, but when testing out a setting powder, I like to try that. But okay, we know that this is not a good baking setting powder. It is so messy. I seriously just wasted so much powder with it just literally falling all over me, but okay. Now it's on this under eye versus without it. And it's good to see that it didn't change the color of the concealer at all. So it's truly a transparent shade and it's looking smooth. So that's great as well. It's very matte. So I don't want to apply this to any dry areas of my skin, but it looks very soft, doesn't look cakey, and it's not leaving behind any powdery texture. I felt like I tapped off so much into the lid here, but I also lost so much of it. So picking up even more to apply it over the center of my face where I applied the concealer oh so i didn't even know that my nose was dry but i guess i have like dry patch on my nose here and this powder is emphasizing that so badly wow so what i was saying before is very true you do not want to apply this where you have any dryness because that looks terrible <laughs> but it looks velvety smooth where it's not super dry. So I kind of like this for the under eyes. My concealer is not creasing anymore and you can't see any powder, but it's very matte. And I would say that my concealer is well set, but now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just picking up this little powder brush, dipping it into the powder here. And I'm going to blend this all over half of my face to see what kind of finish and difference it creates on the skin. Like I like that it's such a finely milled soft powder, but it makes it so messy and it just goes all over the place. But on the actual skin, it looks very undetectable and soft. On my forehead, I had a little bit of sheen, so you can kind of see without the powder versus with it. It really does give a soft matte filter all over the skin which looks very pretty. I think that the, the trend of makeup has shifted to more of that shine glow versus a mattified look. But if you want that mattified look, I think this does a very nice job of it. So you just gotta keep in mind, only want to apply it where your skin is not the least bit dry or else it's really gonna emphasize the texture and where you want that skin to be completely matte. So I like it on the under eyes. Looks good on the skin that isn't dry, like you can't even see any powder. So overall, I'm not super impressed by this. It's usable for the under eyes and if you really wanna tone down shine, absorb some oil, but it looks super textured on dry patches and it's really expensive for a product that I don't think is completely amazing. So not so bad that I'll never use this again, but definitely not a setting powder that I would recommend. If you've tried this out though, please let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.